Hey guys, it's Emily for Top Music. Today I'm going to show you how to switch in your online lessons with Zoom between face-to-face -face view to overhead keyboard view. Let's take a look at the most normal solution for that, which is simple. And then if you are using iPad, you might need a workaround, so I'll show you the alternative. At the bottom of your controls, this is in your Zoom app. Go down to the bottom and hover to get your controls up. You'll see your mic, you'll see your camera. Use the up button. And if you've plugged in your USB camera, it's going to pop up here and just click it to switch. And it's plug and play. You don't have to install it or do anything. It should just pop up there. And there you go. Go back in reverse to do the same thing to come back. And a quick tip there, there is a great shortcut. So look in your control panel to find which one for your system. But I'm in Mac. For mine, it's Shift, Apple, N. And it's a quicker turnaround between that, which if you're using it all day, that's golden. All right. So about the iPads, or if you're on iPhone even, and you want to still switch to an overhead view, or this would work if you're on a laptop, but you just don't have a plug-in mic yet. You couldn't buy one or they're out of stock. That, that is coming up. So you can use, in a pinch, my hack for that, use your iPhone. You're going to join the meeting as a third person, so dial in on here and go ahead and join the meeting. I've done this and I set it up ahead of time before my student came so that I wasn't having them on pause while I fiddled with that. And then my other tips for that, you'll end up with two views of you, which I'll show that in a second. But you want to turn the volume down on your iPhone. Otherwise, you'll get feedback in your ear and it's really distracting. And the other thing I would, these are just phone silencing tips. Put it on airplane mode so you don't get a text or phone call in the middle of this. Check your battery, make sure it's not going to die on you. And I would disable the auto lock where it's going to go to sleep after a minute. Just set that to never during the lesson so it won't sleep. So I've set my phone as a third person. If you had an actual student, this would be three people in your meeting. So watch out for the 40 minute limit on that so that you don't have to be cut off by Zoom. Again, if you're a pro member, then there is no limit, but the free version is nice to do. One more tip with this one. It's kind of cool because you can always have your face and that keyboard view. It's really neat. But the student wants to see the keys more than my speaker face. So to get that reversed, you can pin it. And it might say pin or spotlight video here. And that will just switch it. And that will hold it there the whole time until you unpin it. So it is nice and big now. It makes a nice difference for the student. So again, these are two different solutions. If you're going to switch to the camera view, the normal one that most people are going to like is the plug-in. And then if you have a reason where you need to have the iPhone instead, you don't have a camera or you're on a device that doesn't have the controls in Zoom, then use the phone caller instead. Thanks for watching. Hey, just before you go, make sure you click here to subscribe and we've got thousands of other videos all on the topic of music education and teaching. So make sure you check out some of those other ones here and I'll see you in the next video.